I'm here live with one of the most storied journalists in college football. Every time I go to one of these schools and I look and they have these pictures of Sports Illustrated, it's Andy Staples in the byline. Andy Staples. What's up, man? What's up? Man. Yeah, they, I used to write. I, I remember that. I, yeah. they, like I would type some things and it would come out. And I like this better, though. I like this talking into a microphone. I get to go play video games for a living now. Man. Like, that's, that's my job now. We got to talk about that. We do. I have played the college football video game. It was uh, – so I went to Orlando last week, and we got about two and a half, three hours with the game. Okay. And it was spectacular. Compared to Madden. Okay. So <clears throat> I, that's the easiest one for me to compare to because I've been playing Madden a lot lately. My, I, I've got a 14-year-old. Okay. He loves Madden. His friends love Madden. He loves to kick my ass at Madden. <laughs> so that's what – I've been playing that. And I, there are things about Madden I like – but there are other parts that, that I just – I don't think it's that much fun. All the, the – kind of the atmospheres are generic and much like the real NFL. Like, the stadiums all look the same. And then, you know, it, the gameplay, like, it's hard to run the ball. Mm. You know, every once in a while you might pop something for four or five yards, but a, a lot of two-yard gains, and, and then you're just going to throw the ball all the time. I, I didn't – I didn't ever really fall in love with Madden. Okay. Like I was in love. Like okay, so I played Bill Walsh college football yeah, yeah, let's on go. my Sega Genesis in yes. 1993. Right. And then when NCAA came out for PlayStation, and when I was in college, that was that was all anybody played. Right. And I played, you know, played it up until actually till we had kids in 20, 2009. So I actually missed like the last four editions of of the college football game. Right. Because I just between work and little kids, you don't have the time to play video games. Right. And so. This has been for me like a 14 year odyssey without mm, this game. Okay. And like now, like, my kid is so excited. Like when I got back from EA Sports, he's like, You tell me everything. <laughs> and then, and then we're going to, we're going to go uh, after football practice. You're going to tell my teammates everything because <laughs> they, they're dying to know. And right. so, what what I keep telling people is like I need to know how you play the game mm -hmm. before I tell you what you're gonna love about it. Okay. So like, are you a play now guy? Uh, are you a dynasty mode guy? Are you a road to glory guy? Like, what are you? Right. So me, I'm a play now guy. I okay. want to play online. Me too. Right. Yeah. Yes. So I like to kind of measure myself and my scheme against yep. other people. And then and there are gonna be some other people who just love college football, who even if they're not really playing the game or if they don't care if they win the game. They're just going to enjoy watching it because the spectacle is much bigger here than in Madden. Mm. So, like, they put you in the stadium. You are okay. very much in the stadium. The chants, the songs, the songs the bands play, right? all of that is there. Mm. And so you get and, – and, like, even the turnover props. So, okay. like, if you're playing as Oregon State and, and you get an interception, they have the turnover chainsaw. Oh, wow. And, and so what they do – because a lot of people are just going to X out of that. Right. Like if you're on Madden, something you don't want, you don't want to see the replay. You don't care. They have a picture in picture. So while you're picking your next play, you can still you're get seeing animation. all that stuff. Or, or like they mimic what you would see on Fox or ESPN watching oh, wow. the game. So like after the play, when you go to pick your next play, the picture in picture showing the crowd shot. Right. Like you'll get your surrender cobra, or you'll get your your people doing like the the chop at Florida State, and that part like it. it it almost feels like you're watching a real TV broadcast of the game. Oh, wow. Which is a little distracting mm. in terms of the gameplay. But here's what I like the gameplay better. The, one of the people who made it put it best. They said the difference between the best player and the worst player in college football is so much bigger than the difference between the best player and the worst player in the NFL. Right. So in Madden, even if you have the best player at his position, he can't totally dominate the dude he's playing against usually. Right. But that can happen in the college football game. Mm. And so it's it's either, you know, if you want to beat up on your friend, you can do that depending on the, the ratings. Or if you're much better than your friend, you can pick, you know, you can pick a Sunbelt team and, and probably get challenged by an SEC team even though you're a lot better player than your friend because your friend's just going to have so much more talent than you are. But I thought the running game was great okay. because, it, first of all, you get punished for getting behind the sticks. Okay. So the, the the home field advantage is a real thing. If you're on the road, the noise is incredible. Um, like when you go to look at your routes, they'll just turn squiggly. But also, mm. they'll just put a question mark over a receiver. Oh, it wow. won't even tell you what button oh, you can right. push. Yeah. So 
it, that that part was was interesting. But the run game, you can gain six yards, seven yards. Are you doing more outside runs? I was doing both. I was okay. I, I, I well I so I did somewhere I played as UNLV in Liberty where I was running option. Okay. And because they have you know a lot of the option in their offense. And then I did some where I was playing as other teams where I would I would run some inside zone or I would run some pitches. It like it didn't matter because they've changed and, and I'll be curious to see if Madden does this too, but they changed the way the guys block. Okay. And because before you kind of see the offensive line sort of moving as one. And I had so one of the people who does the playbooks explained it to me. They've actually changed the mechanics of how the offensive line and defensive line work oh, wow. because of the computing power they have now. Before, it had to be kind of blocked. So if you remember from, from when you played football, half line drills. Right. So like you'd have your, like your center guard tackle. We playing against like a D tackle, a D end and a linebacker. Well, that's how the game kind of worked. Mm. So those three would be moving against those three. And so the, you know, the computer's doing all these sets of dice rolls like, okay, did, who won this particular matchup? And so, but it would be for those three guys against those three guys. Now it's for one guy against one guy. So if you got an offensive tackle matched up against the defensive end, the computer is figuring it out based on the ratings of the two players, based on the scheme, the play, uh, the circumstances of the game. And so you can actually watch the blocks develop. Mm. which I felt like you couldn't do before. Right, okay. Like there was either a hole or there wasn't. But now you can see it kind of develops. You can decide I need to juke, I need to spin, I need to stiff arm. And I thought that was a lot easier to control. The other thing I liked that they did, and I think some people are going to hate this, but I liked it, on read options. Okay. So read option, it used to be the default is the quarterback keeps. Well, in real life, the default is not the quarterback keeps. The default is handing off to the back. Right. And so they changed that. So now instead of if you want to hand off to the back, you have to press X real quick after you snap the ball. Mm -hmm. You can actually read the unblocked player and decide if you want to pull. Because if you don't touch anything, it's going to hand off. Are they giving you the key of who to read? Or you got no, to you got to figure out. that out yourself. Oh, okay. oh, here's the oh, if you want to get really nerdy, you can slide protections now. You can change protections at the In line of Yeah, so you okay. can you can you can slide, you can do half slide, full slide, you can max protect, all of that and, and it'll it'll show you on screen what you're changing the assignments to and i mean if if you can see the pressure coming if you if the defense isn't disguising it very well and you slide correctly and you have a hot receiver that's an easy big play speaking of defense what so what what type of defensive player are you are you a do you play with the linebacker are you an in I, I play with edge guys okay uh, every once in a while I'll, I'll go with it with an interior d lineman depending if, if somebody who's got like a good speed rush or or a good swim move but i like to play with edge guys because i feel like I, I can figure out what's going on a little bit better but i will tell you you got to be able to you got to be able to get control of the guy nearest the ball mm -hmm. to make the tackle now mm -hmm. like it, they very much want the gamer making the tackle they okay. do not want you relying on the cpu to make a tackle so it's, it's no more just get close and then -uh. and, and tap it, off of them no it, it's not gonna work <laughs> oh wow yeah or, or i mean eventually you'll get them down but they're, they're gonna gain more yards are the broken tackles out of control i don't think they're out of control i think they're more realistic i think they're, okay. it, it looks more like a real game because before it felt like if you kind of got close you got them down right you have to hit them correctly now and now they've got this wear and tear system which applies to the offensive player and the defensive player. Oh, okay. So like hits matter mm. and certain hits to certain places at certain times matter more. So like, and you can check this during the game. Oh, so like man. you can check and see where your back is, you know, he's, he's more likely to fumble or more likely co to go down on first contact, depending on his wear and tear. In the stock base settings of the game, how impactful is fatigue alone? That's that's hard to say because I was trying to see so much of the game. Okay. So I couldn't really get into – I didn't want to go deep into any game because I wanted to switch so I could see another stadium, so I could see another oh, offense. Wow. So that that one I'd be, be curious to see when the full game comes out because I just didn't have time to do that. 